So Mitsuha sent me in this question where I think he's basically saying that he wants a feature that's basically like a green light, red light system where, you know, you would run an alignment and then just really clearly it would say, hey, these two speakers are phase compatible or they are not phase compatible, you know, like a go, no go kind of situation. Um, so I like that idea, but I don't have that feature yet. So Matsuro, I want to show you um, two or three ways here that you could answer that question. So if you run an alignment, probably the fastest way is just to open up the plot here. So I want you to notice the dark lines in the phase graph here. Anywhere where you see dark lines, so, you know, basically from here to here, right? That is where we have a phase relationship within 60 degrees. And for me, 60 degrees means good enough. We're going to get, you know, at least 5, 5.5 dB of summation. And this is really great phase compatibility here. We see that we have um, these two speakers are within 60 degrees from 40 hertz all the way up to 200 hertz. I also want to draw your attention to this text up here that says bandwidth two octaves. So if you see that, you can be pretty sure that you have a nice phase compatible relationship here. If you see something really low, like lower than one, I might be nervous, but anything about anything around two octaves should be fine. And I want to let you know that this is measuring uh, 24 dB attenuation. So if we look at this number here and it says negative 24, then basically anything from here to probably somewhere up here, this is a wide crossover, right? It's taking up two as a two octave relationship. So that's probably another good indicator that these two speakers are phase compatible. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you is the limits pop-up. So if you open the limits pop-up and then this very first line, it says something like, hey, you can turn the sub down 30 dB, you can turn it up 14.3 and you'll be totally fine. So you can do your alignment and still adjust the sub level for the rest of the day if you want to without going out of alignment, without having any problems. And being able to adjust it, adjust it by 44 dB total, like that's amazing, right? Normally we think that we do our crossover alignment and then we can't touch anything, right? Can't change anything. But if we know where our corridor of 60 degrees lies, which is why I was pointing out this to you, then we can see how far up or down we can go later on and still maintain our alignment. So Mitsudo, I hope that's helpful for you and uh, everybody else let me know what questions come up for you or if you have any suggestions of features I should be adding to help you with these, uh, with these kind of alignments. Thanks.